Welcome back, denizens of the night, to V Rising. Before Gloomrot, you used to have access to Tier 3 armor and weapons right after defeating Octavian the Militia Captain. Now, things have been rebalanced and equipment upgrades have been spread out a little more. Once you finish with Gloomrot South and have defeated Angora the Spider Queen in the Cursed Forest, you should have everything you need to make Tier 3 armor. To unlock Tier 3 weapons, on the other hand, you'll need to defeat our next target and the final boss of Act 2. Cyril the Cursed Smith. You'll find Cyril in the Cursed Village, which is in the northern area of the Cursed Forest. As a tip, you should arrive at the village as the sun sets, and clear out as many of the spirits in this area as you can. It may be difficult to keep track of what's going on in this battle, and you don't need something like a random banshee distracting you. Cyril cycles between three attacks. This is so tiring. He pulls out a greatsword and dashes towards you with a slash. He pulls out a mace, slams it down, and creates multiple spirit orbs. He pulls out slashers, attacks three times, then dashes twice back and forth. He will repeat these attacks until he takes some damage. You need a lot of work. Every 10 to 20% of damage you deal to him, he will create one of those weapons which will attack on their own. Focus your attacks on the weapon before damaging him further. Let me reiterate, this is not a timed ability. He uses it based on his health. Do you bend like steel? If you deal a lot of direct damage to Cyril, you'll have to fight several of these at a time. Since the spirit weapons are very mobile, I recommend using the axe, sword, or the great sword to deal with them. At around 75% health, he'll gain a new weapon ability where he jumps back, then throws a spear. He can now also make spears to attack you that do the same as well. I'm sure you've noticed by now, but using the Ward of the Damned to block at least two spirit orbs from the hammer attack can really clear up the battlefield. The skeletons can also be distractions for the spirit weapon attacks. When there are no spirit weapons around, I recommend attacking Cyril using your pistols. Since his attacks are quite random, it's best to stay at range, then switch to melee when he summons those spirit weapons to help him in the fight. At 50%, he will craft all four weapons at once to attack. This is where things get hectic. Try to kill the weapon that gives you the most trouble first. For me, that usually starts with the slashers, then the mace. I'm sure you've also noticed that I'm purposefully avoiding Cyril. It might be tempting to hurt the boss when he's right there, but this encounter is significantly easier if you kill the weapons first before attacking him. At 30%, he gains a powerful new attack. Feel the pain I feel. He'll do four dashes in a row. Use a combination of your dash's illusion and counterattacks to avoid this. Once he's low on health and there are no weapons left, it should be pretty easy to finish him off. Upon defeat, you'll gain the Wraith Spear ability. You'll also learn how to make the Anvil, which can craft Tier 3 weapons, and learn how to smelt Dark Silver Ingots, which they require. 
Wraith Spear is an illusion attack that causes you to dash backwards, then throw a spear that pierces through your enemies. Just to reiterate how much better it is to single out the weapons during this encounter, let me show you what happens if you ignore the weapons instead. You need a lot of work. You need a lot of work. As you can see, with every bit of damage I deal to Cyro, another weapon gets created. If you can dodge all of these weapons he creates, then I guess it's a valid strategy, but it's definitely not one that I recommend. I can create and destroy. Let me hammer out the king. The only reason I'm able to get away with this strategy is that I fight these bosses multiple times in order to fully understand how they work and to make a nice recording for this video. Basically, I get a lot of practice fighting these bosses over and over. In fact, when I recorded this take, I fully expected to lose this fight just to show you what a bad idea it is to do it this way. But I guess showing you that it's technically possible isn't the worst thing. Agony from beyond. Now that we've completed Act 2, you should have everything you need to craft the anvil. It doesn't require dark silver ingots to make anymore, but it does require a substantial amount of spectral dust and reinforced planks. Our tier 3 weapons, however, will require dark silver ingots, which means our next destination is the Silverlight Hills. Until then, bloodsuckers, good night. <laughs>